What's up you guys, and I'm back and can't find anybody in the new HQ. This place is so freaking big. Hello? We're gonna need radios. They're probably all back working on some of the cars, which is good. We have tons of projects that we need to catch up on. Hello? We're just chilling in the corner. What's going on? Really good to see you. You hear me yelling? Yeah, you're just walking Dude, around. you You'll can't find, find anybody in here. This is so big. I've I keep forgetting. I've been looking for Mike for three days. <laughs> three days. So I saw that they've been working on the F12. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. So what we're doing today, guys, we have a massive car delivery. I love that we have the HQ and we have unlimited space now so all the cars can finally come here. And this is a big one. I know you guys are excited for it. So we're going to get right to that. The second that our boy pulls up out front, we're still waiting for him to show up. He's probably a few minutes away. In the meantime, just check out all the cars we've got chilling here. I don't know why they're randomly parked like this, but it because looks cool. Dave. What's that? Because Dave. Because Dave. Dave's just like, hey, let me do, I'll just put this one here. I'll put that one there and it's fine. We'll leave it. <laughs> yeah, Dave's cars are just, he just got the doors up on the race car. That's absolutely gnarly. We have tons of things going on. For instance, we have the Senna's new wheels are going to get finished tomorrow. So I should be able to pick them up and get them installed and do a big reveal for you guys. Also, the Senna's full straight pipe exhaust from my boy Chris at Unobtainium is getting delivered today. No. So soon enough, we're going to have a straight piped exhaust, LM wheels, and some flames from the biggest flamer on the planet, Alex up at Gintani. Hello? Hello? Yo. How's the uh, the tire lab coming along? Well, it's pretty good, except for the fact that, you know, the Huracan is in here. Yeah. And because it is flooded, holy can't crap. Get the Huracan out. So this well, you guys swapped the wheels and tires for me because I blew the tires off on the other set of wheels. I have two sets of wheels for this car, if you guys didn't know. The KB43 Tribute Car, Supercharged Beauty, Super Trofeo Evo Body Kit. It has 19 inch race wheels that I use for going to the track that typically has like a stickier compound rubber. And then I have a 20 inch more kind of stylish design that really feel, fills up that wheel well, lower profile tire. And those are the ones I typically burn off, but I went a little crazy because we got the block and I destroyed <laughs> my track tires but now we can destroy these tires now if you want to know what mark's talking about this is the tire lab and this is the block it is currently it's currently like block yeah. holy this is insane holy moly throw a rock oh you got a little skip out of it wow probably could go fishing in there. Let's go find the boys, let's gather the crew up, and let's go do a brand new car delivery here at the DDE HQ. And look at this. This is what I'm talking about. All these beautiful XCOM tires. Shout out to XCOM. Thank you guys for sponsoring us with some tire slaying tires for the vlogs. Couldn't do it without them. That'd be a lot of tires in money. Yeah, this is coming along. You guys got, got more stuff in here. That still needs to be set up. There's just kind of stuff everywhere. Hello? Yep. Ah, what's up? The now infamous Hoonigan slash DD forklift. Yeah. How you guys doing? Good, how you doing? Tim? Hello. How you doing? How you doing? That was, that was, that was, <laughs> I was like, what are we doing? That was we're awful, doing that was we're awful. That how you doing? That was a good one. You guys are uh, working hard on the F12. You guys want to go do no. a car delivery? What we get? I just had something delivered. It should any second we should run out front and go take delivery of it and then we can get back to bringing me up to speed on uh why is the car apart again um, i saw just, the title got, and thumbnail but i haven't watched the video we yet. we got bored so we decided to take it apart you got bored <laughs> so. i've seen what happens when you guys get bored i saw one of the videos probably for the last half of the video after dave and i left for vegas you guys just absolutely went ham in the block <laughs> like you <laughs> you yeah all the parents were gone yeah. and the kids played <laughs> okay let's go up front do you guys have any guests is. What's behind this door? I haven't told them. An E36. Oh, An E36. <laughs> bro. Bro. Now, everybody's been asking, where's the SVJ? Where's the SVJ? I have an answer for you. Just hang on tight. Whoop, 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 whoop. How you doing? Good, how are you? The man, the myth, the legend, Carlos Arcalito! New location. New location. You know what? Life's too short to drive boring cars. Right. Just so you didn't know. Yeah, yeah, that's why I love coming out here. My <laughs> <work hard>. <laughs> <laughs> You love coming out here. By the way, what do you say we put a Canadian flag and a race flag up there with the American flag? Hey, we're Canadian. Absolutely. We gotta represent, No, no, man. we gotta rep Kelowna to Compton, man. Kelowna to Compton! <laughs> that's pretty good. Yeah. The CPT and the KPT. Let's do this. I'm pumped, man. I am fired up. Whoop, 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 whoop. Ta-da! 
You guys didn't know that was coming. Well, there's like one of many cars that could be arriving. I, I hope you're excited for this because this car needs to go to the next level. Yeah. And you know what? I have a little bit of competition. You do. Right? You do. And I think it's time my competition finds out what this car can really be made out of. That's some competition. <laughs> I'm actually I do have some competition. Oh. Is there like a beef going on now? Oh, dude. Oh, there's, yeah, dude there's, there's always beef. I it. hope so. Okay, we're not allowed to talk about it. <laughs> there's actually no beef. You guys want to see what this car is? Let's fire it up and see if they can guess. The sound of this car. I wonder if they can. The sound of this car is pretty distinct. It's yeah. pretty loud. Yeah. It's funny enough, it's going to sound even crazier because we're going to tweak some things, make it a little louder. Make go a little faster yeah. make it do some dumb stuff going like this yep this also <laughs> came do you know what those are it looks brake like brake pads. pads for what it says mclaren senna i bought an extra <laughs> pair of brake pads uncle ray ray just so happened to have a spare new not faulty senna windshield oh true. in stock and i bought it off him for triple the money because he's such a good guy what a friend so i got i got an extra spare set of brake pads for the senna and i got a new windshield for the senna now am i gonna put the windshield in right away no i'm gonna save it and if the windshield gets really bad then i'll take it out but right now it's got a crack kind of up the passenger side i don't really want to take it out because i just want to trash on it a little bit longer we're gonna fire this thing up or what yeah i'm ready ready when you are you guys ready yeah his car came with. Dude, and look at all the carbon. Carbon. Oh, Dude, look at this. Carbon. Oh, carbon. This one's actually nice. Look at it. I even oh, have you it. got the shield! I got the shield! Oh! I got the shield! I got the shield! Oh, yeah. oh Dave sucks! <laughs> <laughs> well, hold on. You got the wrong car. This, this one's not for sale. Well, you guys, I'm super stoked because we have two Ferrari 599s on the block to slay tires and EAG with the manual conversion kit have already built us a kit, shipped it to the HQ, and it's sitting inside awaiting for this car to be converted to a manual three pedal tire slaying machine. And all jokes aside, Dave and I have our own little twist on our build. So you're gonna have to watch the build series. There will be some similarities I am getting the exact same race headers and Valtronic straight piped exhaust because Dave's car is what I fell in love with. Then we'll definitely take the car up to Quintani and have the world's largest flamer, that's right, Alex, tune this thing the same way he tuned Dave's car. Because with the pops and the bangs and the flames, it is as theatrical of a car I could buy for the least amount of money. Now let me remind you, do you know what I paid for this car? Did you watch the video? It's 100 grand? Less. Do you remember what I paid? Ninety. Ninety thousand dollars. I paid ninety That's grand. Nice. And let's be honest, for a, the car looks better than Dave's does. Like it has the carbon here. It's got all the carbon. Yeah, you're a it savage looks, today, Mark. I'm not gonna lie. It looks good. Bro. It's even got the chips here from somebody who was prying the yeah. original batteries oh, yeah. off with a screwdriver. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, bro. Somebody was like, I gotta have my carbon badges. <laughs> I gotta have it all. Right. Wow. So this car much like Dave's, has actually the same rough interior. It's just a little rougher. Look how rough this uh, yeah, this they, dash is. Yeah, they're, uh, yeah. man, I don't know, like Ferrari dashes and like shrinking and peeling, so bad. It's really bad. So bad. So here it is, the heart of the beast, naturally aspirated Ferrari Enzo front mounted V12, just uh, a little dirtier. Sounds good though. Not Sounds bad. Good. Not bad for 90 grand. Yeah. Like for what we're gonna do to it? Dude, for a running, driving Ferrari V12, yeah. that's an insane price. Crazy. I have some ideas for the interior. Dave's pretty much leaving his interior stock. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna tear my interior out. I'm gonna do Alcantara. And I think I'm even gonna put in a harness bar, four point harnesses. Yep. And I think I even wanna upgrade the seats and put a real Sparkle race seat in. We're gonna do handbrake. Yep. Manual conversion kit, which is here, right? Let's it got delivered yeah for now i'm just gonna leave these wheels on we can put a spacer on them or something yeah but this is a smaller wheel size than what you guys stole off my f12 my f12 has basically a gt3 rs setup it's not ideal for sliding around not at all it is it is made to go fast around corners dave's car absolutely kills my car when it comes to sound right now yes 
Santa windshield. This is fifteen thousand dollars. The good news is Uncle Ray Ray had one, and he sold it to me for seventy-eight hundred bucks with a pair of Santa brake pads included. Thank you, Uncle Ray Ray, the most disrespectful Bugatti owner on planet Earth. <laughs> All right, let's send it. down on delivery day. me and goes like straighten it out and I was like oh I know if I kept going it would have hit the wall so or it would have been it started over here and then every dough that we did it started like two feet yeah. closer two feet closer next time yeah, maybe we, we probably would have gotten away with it. it we would have tapped it that one's not drywall that's the that's concrete concrete. <laughs> that holds the building up so <laughs> that, holds, that holds the building up <laughs> you know well we got her all smoky in here the car stalled when we stopped Carlos power saying, steering is already the power smoked. steering is already smoked you were saying there was a puddle of oil in here yeah, it's like fresh oil. I think it was out of this car, yeah. Yeah, yeah it looked like a pretty good size. Yeah, mm. so we're probably down on oil, so that's smart. But uh, no, hey, oil trip? welcome to DDE 599, <laughs> number two. Tandem Ferraris to drift in the block with. So, hell yeah. Mike and I were talking about how sick this is gonna be because he needs to still teach me how to drift. We're gonna have to talk about maybe hitting a track day. You guys wanna do that maybe this week? See if we can't go to a track? This storm is huge. Yeah. That's like, what she it, said. Yeah. <laughs> It's, it's really blowing. It's gonna get me real wet. <laughs> Whoa! Oh. What storm squirt, Sean? God, keep your head in the game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, things are flickering on the deck. Look at this. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, you're look at this. Good. It's freaking out. It's free. Look at. I got a ghost in here. Oh, it's, where? It's kind of oh. neutral. <laughs> Just so you know, there's an extra element of danger besides the walls. There's all these. You don't, you don't want to hit one of those. And they're everywhere. They're here, 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 all the way to the wall. What's that? Is your map in the car in Japan? Yeah. The car came from Japan. 
that's sick. I know, but it's a left-hand drive car. Yeah. It's actually from Europe, went to Japan, then came to North America. So I bought the car that's been around the world, baby. Yeah. Well, Dude, it looks sick. It's cool, right? I mean, you think for, for the money, right? Yeah. It's a Ferrari. It's a V12 Ferrari, basically an Enzo engine. Ninety thousand dollars. There we go. We got two. Should we get a third one? See if we can find another one. Could you imagine just a train oh of five nine nines going through the course <laughs> in the door backyard? Banging. Yeah, door banging and everything, yeah. just like right up on each other, just ripping carbon mirrors. I'm just joking. <laughs> These guys are like too far, too far, too far. Now that you've seen the shop, yeah. What are your thoughts? I'm confused about what we're doing, but I love this. <laughs> <laughs> that makes two of us. Yeah, yeah, no, dude, the opportunity here is crazy. So the reality was Dave and I didn't get this place because of the building. A little bit more room in the shop was definitely nice. Yeah. We got this place for that lot outside, which we now call the block. The block. In honor of Ken Block. So slaying tires on the block, being able to make the videos more exciting, being able to test cars on site, not having to drive all the way to a racetrack, spend all that money. It's just going to be more efficient to play with the cars here. Right here, yeah. And Mike was saying to teach me how to actually properly drift in his Pro Spec BMW. He was like, you need to start with the simple stuff. That yard is actually perfect for that. Yep. Which saves a ton of money and a ton of time of us, again, going to a racetrack to do that stuff yeah so he can put out a little figure eight and teach me just the simple motions of like clutch in hand it sounds silly to anybody who's out there who's driving their car and has been drifting for years i haven't been drifting a proper car for forever like at all like but you you understand speed you understand yes. car control yeah. so you've got that part of it down i but don't have don't, the like yeah so the hand actual, clutch like, <laughs> you know how to slide a car around, mm -hmm. right? But when it comes into transitions and connecting corners and using an e-brake to adjust, that's what yeah. I want you to get, like just really exactly, get that technique down. Yeah. Because once you learn that, all the fast stuff is natural for you because you've already done all that stuff. Yeah. Right. So then if you need to throw in a little e-brake, slow the car down, change direction, whatever you need to do, you'll know how to do it. It won't be like, grab the e-brake, oh, I forgot to put the, put the clutch in. So let's see if the windshield's damaged or not, see. right? Let's see. Okay, so, so the that's, first the, thing, the, that's first thing. the big question. So Ray and I were joking about this guy. Get your fingers off that one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Let's see if we can make it go red. Oh, no, dude. That, 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 Hold on. Could you, could you imagine if you opened it up and the windshield was cracked in that corner? <laughs> yeah. There we go. You don't see any cracks? I told Ray, if it gets there, it gets there. <laughs> 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 you son of a bitch, Carlos. Later, man. <laughs> Love you. Go make it weird. Be weird about it. What a guy, hey? <laughs> Carlos. <laughs> Carlos. We wonder how he makes it through life sometimes. Let's go look at the F12 for a second. I got a funny story for you. Come, come with us. So we got an F12. You guys remember a video Dave made with a banker? Oh, do we have to recall this? <laughs> <laughs> okay, do you remember the concept of the video? The concept of the video was the F12 lease was coming up and it was due, right? Yeah. Today's the actual day. So I actually got a phone call today, for real, yeah. from the leasing company about what do we want to do with the car and all this sort of stuff. I can't make this up. It literally says, the 2013 Ferrari has come up on term. Lease buyout as of today is $87,499. That's probably a little more than it's worth at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Just looking to see what your options are. Would you guys like to return the car? It says that. Mm -hmm. Return. Yep. Yeah. Right? Release or buy out. Please let me know as what option suits you best. And I made a decision. And the good news is we're keeping the car. <laughs> <laughs> the F12 is a permanent fixture structure of the DD fleet now. So it's not going anywhere. We took care of it. So you, you released it. I did. Yes. <laughs> I did release it because I didn't want to pay eighty-seven and a half thousand dollars out of my bank account. Not that my bank account's low, like the corporate account. At 
the same time, like we have a bunch of plans and we have things that are coming up in the next couple of months. We also have to do things like the block it needs yes. what? It needs a lot of stuff actually. Yeah, but yeah. what's the big one? What was the big, what was the seventeen thousand dollar bill? That was for used K rail. K rail to get put all the way across the back and yeah. all the way over there. So basically, a big like L shape with a little bit of a like a sweeper yeah. in between. So just to protect the neighboring businesses' fences, we don't want cars being chucked around in case a car breaks. Like it's not always the driver's fault. A car could break or something go wrong coming through this corner in third gear, and all of a sudden you're smashing into what is that little tiny basically curb yeah. that could flip a car. Yeah, absolutely. And on this side, all of these containers, we don't know what's in there. Yeah. And a lot of times containers have like millions of dollars worth of stuff inside. Correct. If a car goes through and hits a container, yeah. that's a serious, serious issue. Uh, Huge. About it. Yeah. That'd be terrible. I don't want to think about it. Yeah, Just especially because you were like the first person to almost go through a container. <laughs> through a fence, through a I container. I was good. And the I best think about it though, Mark. And the really best part is it. he went backwards and I said, do a 180 and you did an involuntary 360. Yeah. And then stopped six feet away from the fence. Shout so Proximity. I said to the guys, before we do any more crazy like shenanigans back here, we do need to get the K rails put in to protect everything and protect everybody. The downside is it's $17,000. The big part of that is obviously buying the K rails, but it's also the install. Yeah. You have to bring a big massive truck with a big massive crane and a bunch of dudes and they have to place them interlock them into each other do you know how much those things weigh uh eight thousand pounds i was shocked when i yes. read that eight thousand pounds for the 20 footer four thousand pounds for the 10 footer that's crazy so it is an insane amount of weight so trucking all of that over here yeah getting a forklift big enough to place all of them yeah. yeah that's that's a big job so we have a lot of work to do here at the hq which is fixing this up first of all we got to somehow i don't know pump Lake DDE out of here. It's gross. Lake, lake block. The journey for the next few videos is going to be pretty wild. It's going to be a mix of working on the HQ, sorting out the block, building the cars. I know the boys have a lot to catch up on with the F12, but the big thing is right now, we really need to get this shop set up to actually continue building cars. In the meantime, we're pretty set up for some minor stuff. By next week, we're going to have two, no, three, hopefully two post lifts, service lifts, so we can really start cranking out yep. the builds, the projects. In in the meantime, things like the new wheels that are gonna go on the Senna, straight pipe exhaust that's going on the Senna, I'm gonna leave that to Alex up in Gintani. He promised me that he would take that on, so I'm pretty pumped. And that thing is like a whole ball of wax. Like, to get the wing off, yeah. to get the exhaust on, when you put the wing back on, you have to recalibrate it, which takes a special tool, which Alex ha happens to have. Of course yeah. he does. Yeah, He's the got all that, all that exotic equipment yeah. there yeah. that we just don't have here. Get excited. We're gonna be modding the Senna, we're gonna be modifying, oh, well, also have another car delivery. Oh yeah? What? Tomorrow. Oh, back to back. Back to back car deliveries. I'm not even gonna tell you guys even a hint about what's coming. Okay boys, I have a fun little outing for us. DD road trip. Let's go. It's a, it's a little outing with the crew. The Senna wheels are this close to being done. Now they're gonna be going into finishing later this evening. So they've requested that whatever tires we want mounted on the wheels get dropped off today. So let's grab the new rubbers I bought. Okay. You've been playing with okay. my rubbers? No, 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 no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tim, I know you. <laughs> Your hands all over them. These bad boys, because I need something really, really sticky for the high horsepower. So we got some R888 Rs. This is this the Rs or R888s? R. R. R triple eight R's? R. R triple Tim just a pirate. R triple eight R's. You wanna know what it's like to get a straight answer out of Tim? That's what it's like. <laughs> so let's take these and we'll go drop them off at AL13 and maybe grab some food. Let's do it. I heard you guys like to eat once in a while. Oh, I heard you like to eat all the time. <laughs> Dude's got skills. How excited are you guys to finally see this thing with the new wheels and shooting some flames? I'm a little concerned for the flames in the wing, but not too much because I think with the new exhaust and the angle that it's at, the flame hopefully doesn't hit the top of this. Now, if it does, what we could do is I could get a strip of ceramic that I could put basically back part of the wing. It really depends on how much flames it shoots. I don't think I need like a 20 foot flame. I'm not saying I don't need a 20 foot flame, but but depending on the angle, which way it comes out of the car, depending on whether the car is sitting still and revving and shooting a flame, or whether if you're moving, obviously the wind going over the car is gonna push the flame kind of away from it. That's probably a little safer, but I don't wanna melt a carbon fiber Senna wing. Cause if I did, then I'd have to do what Dave suggested, which is a Senna wing delete, which I've seen renders of and it looks cool, but I don't think it's very realistic. Woo! 
gonna have to call this a donut shop. I keep doing donuts in here. Marky Mark, I'll drive. Yeah. You film? Yeah. It's probably safer that way. <laughs> oh, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> We have arrived. I'm not gonna lie, I thought we were going over. <laughs> <laughs> I did too. And why, why, why'd you open the truck? Oh, I didn't mean to. <laughs> <laughs> the tires all fall off the top. <laughs> Mark's oh, stuck. So random. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> to be honest, I don't. Okay, quick lunch stop at our favorite crazy chicken place. El Pollo Loco. Pollo. That's why I said Pollo. You said Polo for at least a year. Shut the f <laughs> Oh, I feel better after eating. You know the funny thing about going to the crazy chicken is, you go in as five and you come out as four. <laughs> Mark died. <laughs> Open the door for him. Open the door. So he has to jump in. <laughs> there goes the door. This guy doesn't know what I'm doing. Hold on, I'm turning. I got you. Mark, are you not in yet? Get in, in Mark. Tim loves this right now. He's a a savage, camera. man. Jeez. You just hear him <laughs> Get off me. Get off me. Damn, look at that fit. Oh. Ooh, that got closer than I thought. <laughs> that, was, that, that was point. I think that was a secret. That's, that's, that's the secret knock? Is that the secret knock? I got some tires for some new wheels. The crazy guy. All right. I think they're in powder already. Throw them up on here. Oh yeah, it smells like a machine shop. Right? It smells like a machine shop. It smells awesome in here. It's all awesome. These guys make the sickest wheels, man. You guys need some wheels, hit up AL13. They're our family. Anything, custom, you got a design you want to do, some one-off they'll do it for you, whatever you want. They also got a ton of insane designs. Please do me a favor, give them a follow, AL13 on the gram, link in description, show them some love. Let's boost those numbers for the family. Adrian, I came in your back door. Oh, that sounds bad, hey? Oh, there he is. What's up, homie? How you doing? Good, man. They're in powder? Yep. Oh, no, look at this. Look at the work that goes into making wheels, you guys. That is way above my pay grade. So what's going on here? So it's like this- Some engineering right now. The structural integrity to make sure that they're making strong. Making sure the specs are right, it's good to go, the center cap's good, everything's ready to roll. It's cool looking, right? That's when they do stuff like this. That's neat, man. Can we see the wheels? Let's go. Oh, no, you like them like that? What do you think? Shit. Shit. These are sick. So the question is, do we keep them like that? Or do we do, hold on, I'll tell you off camera. Thank you again, I appreciate you. Always. Super pumped, let me know when they're all mounted and balanced. These guys all approve of the new wheels? Yes, yes, yes? Yes, I. yes, I do. I. It's been approved. Nay. By the I. way, speaking of wheels, yeah. where are your <laughs> T37s? Well, you see right now they're in my backyard with a tarp on them, I'm trying to keep the rain off. It's probably not doing a good job, but. It's okay if wheels get wet, though. Yeah. It's actually okay, so it won't get hurt. So yeah, no, it's gonna get powder coated. It'll be fine. The real question is, when are we getting rid of the T37s and we can get you some real AL13 yeah, wheels? Yeah, good right? question, Mark. Good right? question. Yeah, good, Come good on. question, David. Good question. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're out of here. Oh, by the way, here's the Amazon building we were looking at getting. The one building was pretty much the equivalent size of this. It was ridiculous, but it was kind of like that. Yeah. It had like a lot, which would have been a block. Yep. It was really big. It was like 150,000 square feet. You could have fit at 30,000 square feet. I mean, you could have fit our building inside that building like four and a half times. We also got to get the NOS rehooked up to the uh, Caravan GT, because I'm missing this little button from working. That alone was so cool when we shoot it off. Oh! Oh, dude, it got a little something. Look at the water. Yeah, we got the NOS fixed. We got to get the rear door fixed. I got to get out of this lane. We're coming over! <laughs> Currently heading over to Mike's shop. Mike has a huge announcement, so don't go anywhere. Yo, Mike, did they repave your block? 
They did. I think they needed to cover up some tire marks or something. Holy I don't know what happened. Crap. But yeah, they uh, repaved the entire block. It's nice, man. Like, if you guys don't remember, it did not look like this before. It was like pretty rough. Ooh. Yeah, it was really beat. It was smooth. Damn. Damn. All right. Oh. Nice Hey, I recognize that truck. Why is that here? I was wondering where that was. That's a truck. Well, big news, sad news. I don't think anyone's ready for this. That's what was in that soggy That's package. What was in the Dude, soggy box. They just threw it over the fence. Oh, what is that? A foam? That's, That's like looks like a phone book. It's literally a catalog. What's it for? Oh, dude. Just do the book at him. <laughs> That's pretty good. I don't even know if he's going to make it that far. You had your shot, son. Oh, it's, it's closer. No look. All right, well, I don't know how you want to break the news to him. Just give it to him straight, man. I mean, it's pretty big, but I've been uh, building cars for over 20 years, and uh, I feel like it's time, it's time to move on. Tim, you've been here for the, a lot of that process too, haven't you? Uh, some of it. Do you feel sad about this? A little bit. 